Okay, hi, my name is Jonathan Hutchinson and I'm here to, uh, to introduce myself to you as part of the uh, GLOCO 13 um, uh, course that's, that's running through Open University that you're taking part of and I'm, I'm one of the uh, tutors working alongside Maurice Foley on this particular course. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on who I am and where I come from. Uh, so I've just submitted my thesis um, so I'm, I'm under examination at the moment and I'm looking, my thesis focused on um, uh, user generated content in the public service broadcasting setting. So I was looking at institutional online communities and I was interested in trying to understand uh, the connection between uh, groups of individuals in online environments and when they produce content, the connection that that has with um, institutions that might want to use those. So specifically, I was looking at ABC Pool, where um, there's a, a certain, um, well, there's a regulatory framework and there's a certain level of technical and creative um, uh, expertise which is required. So when those, when those um, expectations don't align, um, this becomes a problem which is often negotiated by someone like the community manager. Um, I could talk about that for another 40 minutes, but the nuts and bolts of it what are um, uh, the users within those online institutional online spaces and those that intermediate the cultural co-production within them. Um, it's, been a, it's been a journey getting to that point and that's probably worthwhile highlighting to you right now. So I started uh, my undergrad studies at RMIT University and uh, I was looking at doing my media and communications um, degree and um, I focused on radio to start with but then did a slight detour to television and uh, learnt, honed my video producing skills um, and then came back to radio and, and the whole time I started to wonder what would happen if I combined those two skill sets together. Um, and that's what the, the online environment enabled me to explore a little bit further. I became interested in user generated content at that point and that's uh, where I continued on to do my, my honours year. Um, where I focused on a preliminary research project of ABC Pool um, and trying to understand what it all meant which then led into my PhD which was the larger question of who are the who are the, the players in this field what are their interests and how are those interests negotiated uh, so that's my academic history um, I'll be a doctor soon hopefully uh, but then to align with that I've also got my professional practice which is um, has its has its roots within um, live production uh, both bands um, entertainment, video productions, large-scale events, that kind of thing. Um, so I was doing live production and also doing studio production, uh, documentary making, and I found my niche within video editing, and that's what I started to pursue for a couple of years. Uh, during that time, I did some work at the Australian Centre for the Moving Image, ACME, where I was working in the public programs uh, department. Uh, and we go out and shoot documentaries in regional Victoria and then come back and cut them up in Melbourne and have showings and it was great fun, it was excellent. Um, I also then went on to do some more commercial uh, productions as well, so working for people like Bondi, Bondi Vet, um, Coxie's Big Adventures, a um, uh, couple of other big ones in there as well. Yeah, uh, and then uh, after that, that's when I moved to Sydney and started working at the ABC um, as the community manager of ABC Pool. At the same time, I was working at Fremantle Media as a social media strategist for the X Factor Season 1, um, which meant that I was looking after Facebook and um, Twitter accounts for the contestants in the program as it was. And we also had a um, uh, an extra program on on. Uh, seven mate I think it was and uh, that's where the social media would really take its form uh, so I've been building up my academic skills and I've also concentrated on my professional practice in both traditional production uh, media production fields and more recently within social media and um, uh, online platforms so that's where I'd like to try and offer my expertise to people within this course over the next few weeks um, 
love to learn from you as well if you've got some interesting insights into this space by all means share and um, hopefully we'll have an enjoyable journey over the next couple of weeks 12 weeks or so together um, so look forward to meeting you within the tutorials okay bye